So in a question like this, I think it's really important to understand that we don't actually have to answer the question. I mean, in this case, it's a yes, no question. They want to know, is there enough yellow, essentially. But I don't need to actually find out whether or not there is enough yellow. I just need to be confident that I could find out the answer if I wanted to. Now we're given the ratio of blue to yellow to red. It's two to three to one. I should probably add another column there at the end to show the total is six ratio units because two plus three plus one is six. And they want to know about the desired amount, which by the way is, is very suspicious language. Why are they not telling us what the desired amount is? And uh, in fact, it would be absolutely impossible to answer this question without knowing what that desired amount is. Do you see that statement two doesn't have a chance of being sufficient on its own just because we don't have information about the desired amount? Let's go ahead and eliminate the answer choices that claim that statement two is sufficient on its own. So B and D are gone, we're down to A, C, or E. Now statement one does tell us the desired amount, but with just statement one on its own, we don't have any information about any of the amounts of paint at our disposal. We have that ratio that they gave us, but we don't know anything about actual quantities of paint. All we have is our desired amount and that can't be sufficient on its own either. So we can go ahead and eliminate A. Let's combine the statements right after the intro. So when we combine these statements, we know exactly how much yellow paint we have. We also know what the desired amount is. So if we have some way to connect those two ideas together, right? How much yellow paint do I need compared to what my desired amount is? If I can find some way to connect those two ideas together, then it is sufficient. So going back to our ratio, which said blue to yellow to red to total was two to three to one to six, we can see that the yellow part out of the total is exactly half, right? Three ratio units out of six ratio units, that's half. So whatever our desired amount is, we're gonna need at least half that amount to be yellow. Now maybe the answer to the question is yes, maybe the answer to the question is no, but whatever it is, I'm confident now that I could find that answer if I wanted to, and therefore the correct answer is C. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.